Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at the VIEW IR, sent to us by Intelligent UAS. To keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. Now our friends at B&H Photo have added us to their affiliate program. And when you order from them by clicking on the link in the description below, a small portion of your purchase goes to support the Roswell Flight Test Crew. There's no additional cost to you, but your support makes a world of difference to us. So save the link and share it with your friends. Thanks. Now this clever piece of kit allows you to mount a FLIR VIEW PRO thermal imaging camera on a DJI Phantom, complete with 3-axis gimbal stabilization, and receive real-time thermal video from the aircraft. Let's take a look at how it works. It arrives in this rugged case, which is waterproof, so you can take it pretty much anywhere. Here's everything you get with the kit. The gimbal itself, which you can order with a FLIR VIEW PRO, or if you already have a camera, you can get it without one. Installation is a snap to do yourself. You also get this blinder, which attaches to the gimbal to keep the phantom sensors from freaking out. These are stilts, which attach to the phantom's legs so there's enough ground clearance to mount the gimbal. The kit comes with a black pearl FPV screen, which you will use to receive live thermal video. It comes complete with all the standard accessories, plus this mount to attach the screen to your radio. You also get this little unit, which is a touchscreen controller for the gimbal and the camera. The whole thing runs off of two rechargeable lithium-ion 9-volt batteries, and you get this wall charger along with them. All these custom components have clearly been produced using a 3D printer, so the fit and finish isn't exactly what you'd expect from a refined consumer product. However, I admire Intelligent UAS for thinking outside the box in terms of an airborne thermal imaging solution. I also admire the fact that the VIEW IR costs $6,000 less than a comparable Zenmuse XT, and it delivers the same basic functionality while giving you simultaneous access to the visible light video from the Phantom. Here's the setup process. Start by attaching the stilts to the landing skids. Notice these little arrows and the number 1 and 2 beside them. Intelligent UAS wants us to snap them into place in that order. So first push in, then push up. And make sure that the word outside is pointing towards the outside. Now that we've got our Phantom standing tall, we can attach the gimbal mount. These two clamps just fit over the landing skids and snap into place. Make sure that this little ledge is facing towards the rear of the aircraft. Slip the gimbal into place, pushing forward until you hear the locking tab click. Mount the antenna in the socket at the rear of the gimbal. Be sure you never power up the gimbal without the antenna in place or you'll risk burning out the video transmitter. Install the blinder. It snaps into place, covering up the ultrasonic sensors and the optical flow camera, which would be pretty freaked out if they detected something just a couple of inches below them. Go ahead and insert the rechargeable 9-volt batteries into the gimbal and the controller. These little guys pack 600 milliwatt hours, which is four to five times the juice in a regular 9-volt. You can run both units off of standard 9-volts, and the controller doesn't seem to mind. However, the gimbal will run down after just a minute or two, so these lithium-ion batteries are really your only choice. Attach the video screen to your radio, and then power it up. Then, turn on the controller and the gimbal. The gimbal does a good job of stabilizing, and the touchscreen controller allows you to move the gimbal and also control the camera, capturing video, still images, and changing the color palette. Looking it over, I do have a couple of thoughts. First, this is using a conventional analog FPV system transmitting on 5.8 gigahertz, and these are linear polarized antennas. We would see a substantial improvement in quality if we changed over to circular polarized antennas. Second, the Phantom uses 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz signals for its own control and video. So I'm wondering if we're going to see any interference because of this FPV system. There's only one way to find out, so let's go flying. So the first thing we're going to do in the field is a gimbal torture test 
to find out how the View IR works as an image stabilizer. So here you see the FLIR image in the top left corner. In the top right corner, we've got the image coming off the Phantom. In the lower left corner, you can see the aircraft itself maneuvering. And in the lower right corner, you see the View IR in action. So now let's take a look at aircraft performance. And obviously if you add an additional payload, you're gonna expect performance to be degraded. And it feels a little heavier on the sticks. It's got more inertia going through turns. And I also went ahead and did a flight endurance check. On the left, you see the aircraft in its stock configuration. And on the right, you see it carrying the View IR. And as you can see, there's a pretty substantial decrease in battery life. So now let's take a look at the video that's coming down off the FLIR. And I have to say, seeing it stabilized is a real treat. In the past, we've had to rely on hard-mounted cameras, and those are great for saying, hey, which side of the building's on fire, you know, looking for a search and rescue subject. But I think if you're gonna be doing post-processing, if you're gonna be doing analysis after the fact, having this stabilized image is gonna make a real difference. Now, one thing I'm noticing as I'm flying out a little further is I'm starting to get these weak signal strength indicators on my screen. This is a known good flying environment. I've flown here many times before. I've never gotten interference. So I have to assume this is coming from the FPV system. So that's something to keep in mind. One more thing to be aware of is that with this screen on here, the total package does get a little heavy. So you might want to think about a neck strap. So that was our look at the View IR from Intelligent UAS. To keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.